Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rips Hockey Channel. I'm your host Ross, and today we will be opening up two NHL 23-24 Series 2 Oversized Blaster Boxes. Um, I had been waiting for these in the mail for some time now, uh, and they have finally arrived. Uh, now, I'm not the biggest fan of Oversized Blasters in general, but I uh, figured I would give these variations of world with the series and everything um so not too sure what to expect here given uh, we will have one less pack in each box but it should hopefully maybe give us more of a chance to hit a bedard young guns whether it be short print or oversized uh so for without further ado let's go ahead and rip on into these things and seeing what we can get all right, guys, I got the first box home in here. How I'll do this is I'll go ahead and I'll remove what should be our three packs here. I'll set them off to the side and we'll go ahead and draw the oversized young gun here, seeing what we can get. And hey, we happen to get an Alex Lafriere. I don't think I have pulled him in either of uh, either progs I've gotten here so far. Most, uh, Pretty much all of them being short print, but uh, yeah. We got the oversized here, Alex Lafriere, number 462. Yeah, he's a pretty decent prospect here, only 22 years old, has pretty solid amateur production and solid NH or pretty decent NHL production to start off with. Um, pretty decent upside, so yeah, if you are pulling one of the oversized, I guess this is probably one of the better ones to get here. But again, uh, hoping for... Um, hoping for a Bedard one, if we can get one here with the oversized in the other box. But yeah, we'll certainly take it with this one. We'll continue on with our normal packs for the first box. Okay, pack number one here. Start off with Ryan McDonough. Ope Denault. Yamato. Manson. And we get a uh, gold glossy Opeachy card to start things off with, the Leon Dreisaitl. We do get our, probably our only Young Guns pool for this box with Mikhail Piette, I believe is how you say that. Mikhail here, number 477 out of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yeah, an, uh, an okay one there, 22, uh, 22 years old, excuse me. Um, amateur production has been uh, okay, hasn't been yet to seen, seen any NHL action, but again, uh, has probably some upside, but not very much here uh, as far as uh, expectations. But uh, yeah, still relatively young and yet to be seen here, but we'll certainly take it here as this is probably one we haven't uh, pulled before, so very nice. We'll continue on with the rest of the remaining part, uh, inserts of the pack. With the remaining inserts of the first pack here, we got an ecliptic of Kirill Kaprizov. Then behind that, oh, I guess that's it for this pack. Let's check through here. I think the rest is base. Yeah, I think we got over three inserts there. Sorry. And the rest is base. We'll continue on to the next pack. Okay, next pack up. Yeah, guys, I think, like I said, we, we only get one young gun per box, or one, I'm sorry, one short print since we get the, uh, what is it, the oversized. So we'll see if we're able to beat the odds here, but highly doubt it. We'll continue on here with the base for the second pack so we can find our inserts here towards the middle. Oh, we got upside down here. That's strange. Next, okay, all over the place here. We start off with a PCs. I believe this is the, was it Sparkle? Variation here with uh, Eric Carlson still listed with the San Jose Sharks. We got a superstar on roll card here of Elliot Desnoyers. I believe that's a rookie superstar on roll card variation. And then we get an instinctive with Karel Vegmilka out of the Coyotes. And the rest here should be base, which it is. We'll continue on to the next pack. Okay, guys, final pack of the first box. Anything else we can pull here before ending off the first box and moving along to our second one here? Oh, upside down again. Chandler. And we get a green dazzler for our box here with Clayton Keller out of the Arizona Coyotes. Oh, we do get a second Young Guns. Hey, Bobby McMahon out of the Toronto Maple Leafs, number 479. Yeah, already 27 years old, but it has already become a fan favorite in Toronto. 
Um, amateur production was pretty solid, and his NHL production has been pretty good so far. And only uh, again, he is 27 years old, so I'm not sure in the way of much in the upside. But uh, we'll certainly take it here, as this is our, I think our first pool of Bobby here. So we'll continue on with the remaining uh, inserts for this pack. With the remaining inserts for this pack, for our final pack here, we got a UD canvas of Alex Petrangelo, a deep roots with Roman Yossi, and the rest should finish off with base here, which we do. And that does it for that pack and that box. We'll continue on to our next box here and just uh, move things along. Okay, guys, open up the second box here. Let me go ahead and remove out our three packs and put them out to the side. And we'll start off with our oversized young guns here. And it happens to be John Beecher out of the Boston Bruins. Yeah, I don't think that's a very good one to pull there. John Beecher, it's a little... A little bit bent up here, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it's already a little bit bent up. They don't really do much in the way of protecting these, but yeah, John Beecher, number 472 here. Yeah, again, not a very highly sought after one here. He's only 22 years old, but uh, production has not been very good. Starting things off with him, um, yeah, I'm not sure the way, again, of upside or potential with him, but uh, again, he is young. But uh, not the one uh, you're looking for when looking through this uh, series. But we'll take it here. We're off to the side. And we'll continue on to our normal packs. Okay, first pack of the second box here. Start off the first pack here with starting with uh, Tim Stutzla, Tolvin, Wade Allison. We got Carter Verhage here. We got the Green Dazzler of this box with Mitch Marner. We got an A, another Bobby Mc... Yep, pulled a duplicate of his, so <laughs> we'll certainly take another one of his. Again, uh, one, of the, uh, one, of the, one of the ones that uh, has become more popular um, with his production of lately and everything else. Again, not sure in the way of upside with him, but again, we'll take another duplicate of his, one of the better ones. Continue on here with the rest of the inserts for the first pack with a UD canvas of Tyler Segan. A Deep Roots with... Uh, was it uh, Mikhail Backlund? And then the rest should be base here to finish things off. Which it is. We'll continue on now to the next pack. Okay, second pack up. Got Pavel Zaka, Andre Kuzmenko, Jake Allen, Alexis Lafreniere, Rasmus Anderson, and we get a gold of Kirill Kaprizov here for our glossy Opichi card. That's pretty nice. We get a superstar Arnold card of Walker Dewar. And then we get a, what is this, uh, director of boards uh, insert here with Trent Frederick with the Boston Bruins. And the rest should be base here. Which it is. We'll continue on to our final pack of the second box. All right, guys, last pack mojo for the second box here. Starting off this pack with an Alex Ovechkin base card. Hagel, Nelson, Yamamoto, and we'll get a glossy PG card of Leon Dryso. We had pulled a gold variation in our last box here. We get a superstar honor roll with Jacob Peltier, and we get a ecliptic with Cole Caulfield. And that should do it. We ended up not getting another young gun, our short print young guns here, but that's okay. Finish off with base. Let me go ahead and gather up everything from between two oversized boxes. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So yeah, guys. All in all, I would say those boxes were average to below average. I would say probably the first box was way better than the second box. The second box seemed to be pretty brutal with the Beecher uh, was it oversized young guns. And then we only ended up with one uh, short print young guns with... Uh, with one that we had already pulled in the first box with Bobby McCann. But let me go ahead here and um, let me go ahead and summarize all of our insert hits first. And we'll go from that point. Uh, we got um, a gold of Leon Dreisel on the Opeachy Glossy. We also got a standard uh, base variation on the Opeachy Glossy. As well as a gold with Kirill Kaprizov. We got an ecliptic with Kirill Kaprizov. We also got an ecliptic with Cole Caulfield. We got some green dazzlers, or two green dazzlers between each box here with Clayton Keller and Mitch Marner. We got deep roots with Mikhail Backlund 
and also Roman Yossi. We got a couple of superstar RL cards here with Elliot Desnoyers. We got uh, Walker Dewar, Jacob Peltier. We got UD canvases of Alex Petrangelo, Tyler Segan. We got a director of boards with um, Trent Frederick on the Boston Bruins. Instinctive of Karel Vegemelka out of the Coyotes. And a PC Sparkle variation with Eric Carlson. And out of the two oversized boxes, our oversized young guns were John Beecher with Boston Bruins. And then probably one of our better ones there with Alex Lafriere out of the LA Kings. And then we pulled three uh, standard young guns here between the two boxes with uh, two of the Bobby McCann, McMahon, excuse me, Bobby McMahon youngins for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And then we pulled a Mikhail Pietia out of the Columbus Blue Jackets. So yeah, guys, like I said, uh, our boxes were pretty... Um, like I said, average, below average, nothing too spectacular here. Um, I do have uh, a couple of mega boxes um, coming in the mail, so stay tuned for future videos on those. But in the meantime, that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's session. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, leaving all your comments down below. Thank you, as always, for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.